It's the time of year where people start to make positive life changes. Eating healthy is a popular New Year's resolution. However, inflation could make that difficult for you. WTVA Sammy Robux live in the studio with tips for healthy eating on a budget. A huge way to make a difference is planning your meals ahead of time. This ensures all the food groups are included and you're able to shop for the exact items on your list. A big way people spend too much in the store is shopping hungry and buying products that don't offer any nutrients. My health has improved like 98%, so I feel great. It's just a passion of mine to help people that are having um, health challenges to specifically recommend some things that will target those areas. Experts here at Whole Family say adding in whole grains will drastically improve your diet, just like adding in this organic quinoa. It'll spread out what you eat, fill you up more, and really make a big difference on how you feel. There's a lot of foods that are great on a budget that are so high in antioxidants like pinto beans, all kind of black beans, grains, quinoa, superfoods. A lot of people incorporate that into their diets and into their fa family's uh, menu and meals. And it kind of helps stretch it. And again, again, uh, providing a lot of nutrition for their family. I spoke with Dr. Matt Mackey, who is a local nutrition expert. He says if it doesn't seem like you're saving money now, you'll see it later. We always have a saying, and it's probably been around for a long time, but it's either you pay the farmer now or you pay the doctor later. And so a lot of times people don't realize that what they eat and what they drink, they put into their body, is of course going to affect their budget and they can skimp out and do the cheap stuff early, but later they're going to pay the price and their health. Eating healthy is a New Year's goal for a lot of people. But experts say to really see a change, a habit must be formed. You know, we're seeing more now that it's more of a all year round thing. People get that idea and say tomorrow's going to be a new day and they walk in the door in, in September and, and starting a new plan and we're again here to help them where we can. I don't know the exact number, but a lot of times studies show people may only do that for 10 to 15, maybe 20 days. But what if they just committed to doing it for 60 days? Like, how would that change their life? Another way to feel better is to drink plenty of water. It doesn't cost much, but can largely affect your mood and energy levels. Live in studio, Sammy Roebuck, WTVA 9 News.